The number of British children abducted by a parent and taken abroad has more than doubled in the past 10 years. Figures seen by the BBC show the UK Foreign Office dealt with almost 500 cases last year. But there could be many more that haven't been reported. Divya Talwar reports. Amina Khan has been missing for almost four years. She was six when she was abducted by her mum and taken to Pakistan. This is Amina's room. At home, her dad has still kept her bedroom ready for her. If she comes home and she asks questions about where I had been, I'll say I was waiting for her and I've left your room, your school uniform is still here and I want to know that um, I never stopped thinking about her. Even if Safraz could track down Amina, Pakistan hasn't signed up to the 1980 Hague Convention, an international agreement on the quick return of children which means there's no system in place to get Amina back. The loss that I'm facing is like a bereavement. I don't have a grave, God forbid, but I haven't got nothing for of Amina since the last four years. When a child is abducted and taken to a non-hate country, it can take years to get them back. India is among the most common destinations for parents fleeing with a British child. We're on our way to meet a woman I've been speaking to over emails over the last year now. What's different about her is that she's the one who's actually done the abducting. I want to understand what makes someone abduct their own child and, and how they can justify it. She's agreed to meet me as long as we don't reveal her identity. This is Ami. She came to Bangalore with her three-year-old son after leaving her British husband. Their relationship broke down and Ami thought he would try and get custody of her son. So she fled to her parents. Were you aware of the, the consequences of abducting your child? I knew I was breaking the law and I would have to face the consequences. But what the consequences would be? Would it be arrest? Would it be my child being taken away from me? UK cases like these of international child abduction and custody battles have increased dramatically. Last year, there were 477. That's more than double the figure in 2005. If we look at last year's stats... British charity Reunite puts the rise in cases down to more breakups and cheaper global travel. Even for the abducting parent, again, it's that fear, it's the pain, it's the uncertainty, it's the threat of criminal sanctions, but absolutely the loser is the child. So you can play swing, you can play slide... Army's husband has now tracked her down and she's fighting him for custody of her son in the Indian courts. There's nothing the British authorities can do in cases like this. And parents could face years of legal wrangling abroad. Divya Tawa, BBC News, Bangalore.